Hey guys, it's Zach with Aldec, and today I'd like to show you how to use Coco TB with Riviera Pro. Coco TB is a coroutine based co simulation test bench environment. It is useful for design reuse and randomized testing using the Python scripting language. Coco TB offers a faster testing phase due to Python's ease of use. Test benches are usually built on coroutines that are written to perform a specific task and then are called into tests. CocoTB also has customizability when building your simulation environment that allows you to interact with the Riviera Pro simulator like triggers for simulation timing or signals. CocoTB is Linux and Windows compatible and has built-in support for Jenkins. So I'm going to be demonstrating CocoTB in a Linux environment using Riviera Pro as the simulation tool. When testing in the CocoTB environment, it is good practice to dedicate a directory separate from your HDL and your designs. So we have the HDL directory, which contains our design components, and the test directory, which is where we'll run our Python tests. In the tests directory, we've got a make file, our Python test bench, and another directory, simbuild. The simbuild directory is the default name directory that is created when a test is run. That directory contains everything done with your design and the simulator during a test run. So the design that we're going to be using, or the DUT for this run, is going to be a simple 4-bit up counter. It has a clock and clear input ports, which we will apply test stimulus to to check the operation of the counter. So if we go ahead and take a look at the Python test bench, we can see the contents. How test benches are written will vary from design complexity and size. In this test bench, clock, timer, and rising edge classes are imported from CocoTB. Typically, coroutines will yield a trigger object. However, this test bench design was simple enough it didn't necessitate any coroutines, so it all exists in the same or the regular test routine. We use these imported classes to generate a clock stimulus and push forward the simulation through the timer yield. This test bench will allow the user to visually verify that the counter up counts properly and will clear the counter. In the CocoTB reference, there's going to be information on all classes a part of CocoTB that are useful when writing Python tests. If we move over to the make file, uh, this is where you build the environment for your simulation to take place. In the make file, you can set your build options like environment and make variables. Some important environment variables that can be set are your top level, which indicates your DUT, the modules or test benches you want to execute. You can also indicate if you want to use GUI or run in the terminal, which simulator you'd like to use, and if you'd like to put these tests in a different directory than simbuild. You can include as many or few variables as you wish in the make file. Sometimes your design may require compile or simulation dependencies and arguments, and you can include those as well. You can override the makefile specifications when executing your test run by including it in your command. So we can run a simulation on this counter design by using the make command while we're in the test directory. This will call Riviera Pro in terminal and execute the Python test bench indicated and give output based on the test run. It will indicate the test has passed or failed and give information about simulation time and actual runtime. If we wanted to run this test in the Riviera Pro GUI, we can use the make command again with GUI equals 1 to open Riviera Pro and show the simulation using waveforms. So once it opens, uh, you can use run all to run the simulations and have a visual representation of the tests as well. That's it for this Riviera Pro and CocoTB video. Thanks for watching.